everyone, it's Julie from Learn to Play. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to do a grocery haul. I just got back into town. I wanted to stockpile Miss Holly with a bunch of goodies. And then I did add in our weekly groceries as well so that she didn't have to go last week since I was already going to be doing it. And my total, I wanna say was like $473. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you everything I bought. Now that does not include diapers. I will show you that stuff as well. I wanna say, that was maybe like $150 or $200 as well too. But first things first, let's get to the groceries. Okay, starting over here, I got two of the ragus. Now this is for the stockpile, these things right here I'm gonna show you. I don't believe Holly has um, spaghetti on the list coming up, but I just got two of the bigger things of ragu. I got two more of the syrups, two more ketchups, and then I got two barbecue sauces. Now she is doing barbecue meatballs this week. I believe she'll probably go through both of them. I think she has one or two in the cabinet, but I just stockpiled her with two more. Here are our dry goods. I got four of these Pop-Tarts. Now for snack on Monday, Holly had scheduled Rice Krispie treats while we are having plumbers come and snake our drains in the kitchen. So I actually have to meal prep today for um, tomorrow for Monday so that in case they are here during lunchtime, everything's already ready. So Holly is not gonna have time to make marshmallow, Rice Krispie treats, so I just simply picked up these Pop-Tarts. I got two boxes of 48 count chocolate chip granola bars. I got two of the jumbo, um, great value, elbow, macro, or like macaroni. I think this was like two or 2.50 a box. I got three of the maple brown sugar instant oatmeal, so that is 60 total. I picked up four of the vanilla wafers. The kids love those for snack. And then I picked up four boxes. Two of these are cherry and two of them are blueberry. Again, this is something either for like the young toddlers, the babies that are eating. This is just like a great snack alternative for them. I got two jumbo boxes of honey nut bows. I want to say those were like $2.50 each. And then I got five boxes of the skillet pasta dinners. I think she's going to do like a almost like a take on like a hamburger helper one of the days, <laughs> some like beefaroni, whatever, whatever that is. And then how many boxes? I got six boxes of the Great Value Thick and Creamy Mac and Cheese. I actually love this and they're 50 cents each. So again, I don't think she has this on her list, but this is a great stockpile option. And then I got two bags of pretzels. She did have pretzels and dip down for this coming week. They did not have any um, chip dip at Walmart. So I will have to go back. I got four loaves of bread. Tomorrow they're doing ham and cheese sandwiches. And then on Tuesday, I believe they're doing those barbecue meatballs and we have to have a grain with it. So I got four things of bread. Moving on to fruit, I got two bags of apples, two bunches of bananas. I got two 24 counts of cheese, again, for those sandwiches tomorrow. And then I think one day she was doing string cheese um, for snacks. So. The one count is like 28 or 30 something. And then I got a smaller one that's like a 16 count. Because these are expensive. That larger count was like almost $10. That's a lot for snack. When you like $20 for one snack just for one day. So I just went ahead and kind of measured out how many kids were here. So I just kind of got the exact count for that. I did get a two pound um, thing of ham. Again, I'm just stockpiling her with butter. I don't know if she needs butter. I got seven cucumbers. She's doing cucumbers tomorrow with that ham and cheese. And then again, this is just another stockpile. I got two six count apple sauces. This could be for the baby room. She is doing biscuits one morning. You know what? I forgot the jelly. <laughs> she was doing biscuits and jelly one morning. So I got three um, counts of this. Each one has 10. So that's more than enough biscuits for the kids. Moving on to our frozen meats. She is doing fish sticks one day. So I got three of these 52 count fish sticks. I think these are about $9 each, eight or $9. I stockpiled her with two bags of the fully cooked chicken nuggets. I know she does chicken nuggets. We are in a rotating menu. So I just picked those up since I was there. And then I got the family size meatballs. I'm hoping that this is enough. I'll have to look in the freezer and see if she has any leftover from two weeks ago when she did this. I wanna say I counted it out and there's like 180 meatballs in there. So maybe each kid gets between two and four depending on their age for, for serving size. So if I did my math correctly, that should be good enough. 
I got five bags of the sweet peas, two jumbo bags of the broccoli florets to have. I did get a big tube of hamburger meat. Again, this is for that like hamburger helper pasta thing, whatever they're doing <laughs> with that. And then I got a big um, bag of mixed vegetables. Again, this is stockpile. I don't believe this is on her menu this week. I got two 24 counts of waffles to stockpile. And then I think she does have this on her menu this week for breakfast one day. I got six boxes of the cinnamon French toast. I'm gonna come back to this because this is like our little extra products here. For our canned goods, I got four jumbo cans of pears. I got six things of the pineapple chunks. I got four large mandarin oranges. I did get a large green bean. I thought Walmart carried the large corn. They must not. That must be Sam's Club. So I only got that large size green bean. She's doing chicken Alfredo one day. So I got three things of the Alfredo sauce. This is the jumbo. I think these were about $2.50 each. I got how many? Maybe six cans of the sliced carrots. Those were a dollar each. And then I got four of the jumbo corns, the family size. I did pick up five of these juices. We have one here. So I like to have like six on hand at all times. And then three of the whole milk and three of the 2%. Now there are, I think, three other gallons in the refrigerator. Our refrigerator obviously cannot hold, you know, 20 things of milk. This will not be enough for this week, but at least it's it gets them started. They go through probably at least one of these a day and maybe half of this because it goes by age. So again, they'll have to come back and go to the grocery store later on. All right, for our final grocery thing for paper products, I got her parchment paper. I'm not sure if she needed it, but I just picked it up. She did tell me she needed foil. This was the best deal. It's the great value, 50 square feet. I think this was under $4 each. So that's 100 square feet. I think the name brand one, the Reynolds foil, was like $10 for 100 square feet. So that's definitely a better deal. I got two of the Swiffer Jet Gains. I wanted to get the pads, they did not have them. I got another yuck bucket for the classrooms. I got three of these bowls. They are doing cereal this week, I think twice. And so Holly likes just to put them in this to make it easier for cleanup. Again, I usually buy these at Sam's, but since I was not there today, I got two of the 80 count bags for the classroom. So I'll give each room like 40 bags. That'll last them maybe like two or three weeks. And then I got three of the paper um, cups here for Holly. I stockpiled her another big jumbo thing of paper plates. This again is a stockpile. She has like a half of one left, so I just got her that. And then she said she needed storage bags, so I got her two 80 counts of those. Okay, now moving on to my Target diaper run. So this week, Target had spend $75, get a $15 gift card. The way you have to do it, though, is that I had to do this in three different orders, so I'm like forever finagling how to make it closest to $75 so I can get that gift card. You, you can't, it's ridiculous. You can't spend like 150 and get $30 gift cards. You have to do it in like in different increments. So I got two of the size sixes. That's probably, besides the pull-ups, our most popular size for the infants, a size three, a size five for the young toddlers. And then the rest are all pull-ups. I just get the pink kind. I don't really think it matters. I think they have boys and girls, but they all look the same. I was asked in a previous video, why do I supply diapers? I went over this in my last video and I was answering questions. And the reason why I supply diapers, again, is because I'm not tracing parents. It's ridiculous. I mean, you're forever hounding them <laughs> to bring in diapers and wipes and whatnot. When you break it down, it's literally like 17 cents a diaper. So the older kids, they're probably only soaking their diaper maybe three times during, you know, a six, seven, eight hour period that they're here. We check them every two hours. If they are dry, we clearly don't put on a brand new diaper. But the infants obviously go through more, but it is roughly about 17 cents. So I charge approximately $20 more than my competitors in the area for tuition weekly. So it definitely, I mean, per kid, it's probably like $20 a month. And if you think about it, if I'm charging $80 more a month per kid, I'm definitely making out with it. But now, I mean, there's gas associated, there's your time going to get these. But again, I'm literally not trying to chase parents for diapers. I will always, always stick with this. And then the last thing I wanna show you is that we got our shirts and you guys, I'm super excited. I went with like a local printer. I wanna say each shirt 
ended up being about 11 10 11 dollars and they're printed on they're not cricketed because we had tried to do this ourselves with um the cricket a long time ago and eventually it starts peeling up so i got each girl a red blue and yellow shirt so that is it guys that is the grocery haul the stockpile haul diaper haul all of the above if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so and i'll see you in my next video